Happy Wednesday, everyone. So I'm going to touch on something that I've previously touched on, but since for some reason I have yet to go viral with my videos, I'm going to take a chance that there's one or two of you who have not heard everything I have to say. So tax changes. I'm sure you've heard something about potential tax changes coming down the pipeline. This is actually a pretty big deal. You know, the problem is we don't know exactly what's going to come out of Congress. It kind of depends on how many senators utilize some of the things that are <laughs> are threatened right now. And it only takes a couple, right? Um, you know, if a couple senators are like, oh, wait, but I use that estate planning technique or I like doing Roth conversions, um, then maybe it's not going to actually happen. But if, if you're somebody, if you're a high income earner, if you have done Roth conversions in the past, if you make non-deductible IRA contributions that you convert to Roth, or you have a work plan that lets you do after-tax contributions that ultimately go into Roth, um, if you've utilized advanced estate planning techniques, this stuff is, this is big, a lot of the stuff that's, that's potentially going to happen. Here's what you do not want to do. Oh, it's December 31st. I think Congress passed something or I heard about them doing something. I should call my financial advisor or my lawyer or tax professional today and see what's going on. Nobody's going to answer the phone that night because there's nothing that can be done. The banks are closed. You know, people are not there. Like it, You can't do this stuff in five minutes. Have these conversations now have your team. You should be working with all three of those professionals because you know what? Your day job is not to keep up with all this stuff. You want to read through all this, the proposed legislation line by line and highlight and get out your, I mean, maybe if you went to law school, you've got your color-coded highlighter system. Uh, but if that's not actually your day job, you're not going to want to do that. So um, I think the best thing to do is leave it to the professionals um, so you've got to work with them and don't wait. This is a big deal. So, um, you know, if you're high, like I said, high income earner, if you have a significant net worth, what's the magic number? I don't know. I mean, it's potentially the state tax exemption is going to come back down to the five and a half million adjusted for inflation, close to $6 million per person. Uh, that was set to sunset anyway at the end of 2025. Uh, but think about it. You may not have $6 million in your investment accounts, but do you have a lot of term life insurance? You know, term insurance is cheap. Uh, you know, my husband and I have a lot of term life insurance in case Something happens to us while our son is young. Um, you could not know it and have an estate tax problem. You could be inheriting money and that could ultimately cause an estate tax problem. So these are important conversations. Don't procrastinate. It, it's so easy to procrastinate, but don't. That, that's my advice is just don't procrastinate. Pick up the phone, uh, You know, call your professionals, start working with somebody uh, so that you can be prepared as much as you can be without having a crystal ball. So uh, have a great rest of your day and I will see you soon.